Ever heard of methylene blue? Um, sounds like something from a mad scientist's lab, right? It's actually been around for ages. Yeah, it's been used for everything from staining fabrics to um, treating certain blood conditions. Seriously? Wow. Yeah. And now it's being looked at as a potential cancer fighter. That's the focus of this fascinating study, using it in photodynamic therapy. Photodynamic therapy? Sounds yeah. intense. Let's dive in. So this paper is all about using methylene blue in a new way to fight cancer. What's the basic idea? It leverages methylene blue's ability to absorb light and generate reactive oxygen species, essentially killing cancer cells. So shine a light on the cancer cells after injecting them with methylene blue and zap, right? Pretty much. But it's more nuanced than that. The key is that methylene blue seems to accumulate more in cancer cells than healthy ones. That's the important part. How do they go about testing this? Do they just like try it on everything? No, they followed strict guidelines using a systematic review approach. They looked at preclinical studies, mostly in mice. Mice? So not human trials yet? Correct. This is all preclinical research, laying the groundwork for future human trials. They used PubMed to find relevant studies, a lot of studies. And what did they find? Did it work? The results were pretty promising. Across 10 studies, they saw a reduction in tumor size in several types of cancer. Like what kinds of cancers? Colorectal, melanoma, and carcinoma. They even saw some positive effects in breast cancer models. Wow, that's a pretty broad range. But were all the studies the same? Not exactly. There was some variation in the dosage of methylene blue, how it was administered, and the types of tumors. You know, standard stuff. I noticed something interesting about the use of nanotechnology. What was that about? Several studies used nanoformulations of methylene blue. This seemed to significantly boost the effectiveness of the treatment. So smaller particles, better results? Mm -hmm. It seems that way. The nanoformulations may improve the delivery and uptake of methylene blue by the cancer cells. Makes sense, right? Any concerns about the quality of the studies they reviewed? Yes, there were some methodological limitations. Many studies lacked proper randomization and blinding, which could introduce bias, a big problem. So the results might not be entirely reliable? Is a valid concern. The review acknowledges this, highlighting the need for more rigorous research. Definitely. So what's the overall takeaway? Is methylene blue the miracle cure for cancer? Not quite, but the results are encouraging. It shows potential, especially when combined with nanotechnology. So more research is needed? Absolutely. This systematic review provides a good starting point, but more high-quality studies are crucial before we can draw definitive conclusions. For sure. What were some of the limitations of this systematic review itself? The heterogeneity of the included studies, differences in sample sizes, and the methodological flaws in some of the original studies. Yeah, it's a mess. So it's not a perfect picture, but it gives us a good direction to move forward. What kind of future research would be most helpful? More studies with larger sample sizes, better methodological rigor, and a focus on optimizing the delivery methods, particularly using nanotechnology. That's key. What's the potential clinical significance of this research? If further research confirms these findings, methylene blue could become a valuable addition to cancer treatment options, especially given its low cost and relatively good safety profile. That's a big plus. It's good to hear. So a promising avenue, but still a long way to go before we see it in clinics. Precisely. It's a reminder that scientific progress is incremental, and this study provides valuable insights for future research. That was a great discussion. Thanks for sharing your expertise. I appreciate it.